The one thing you didn't take into account is that this old dog has learned some new tricks since playing this game. The captain keyed in seven commands into the panel, and seven of his figures all advance one space at a time. Checkmate, he declared sternly. You're going senile in your old age, Marsh defied. You're not anywhere close to having me as checkmate. I wasn't talking about the game, he said, giving a business-like little smile. Jackson spoke into the intercom on his wristband. The door to the rec room slid open, and four interceptors entered. Their blasters were locked and loaded, targeted upon Marsh. McLeod and Hag, slightly taken aback at first, rose and drew their blasters and aimed them at him too. Talk about sore losers, Marsh remarked as he'd no choice but to raise his hands in surrender. Marsh Weathers, Jackson declared, keeping his eyes on Marsh as he stood up. Turns out you're 20,000 credits short of the three million that was stolen. So? Marsh countered. Being a fugitive's an expensive business, no doubt. He's been at large a while. You didn't think he never spent any of it, did you? Maybe. But that wouldn't explain why the lab found 20,000 credits stuffed inside the body of the Amroki, would it? Jackson replied tauntingly. Maybe it's their way of hiding it. Under the mattress, so to speak. Marsh shrugged. His quip lacked conviction this time. While he was still alive. That's a pretty neat trick. Besides, we found the bucket filled with the guts of an Amroki in your shuttle. Got an explanation for that? There was no answer from Marsh this time. I'm disappointed in you, Marsh. Not that you've tried angling for some extra money. I get it. Times are hard out here. If anything, I'm disappointed that you made it so easy for us to nab you. Marsh Weathers, I'm placing you under arrest.